So my name is Deanna Edgar and I'm from a small town in Griswold, Connecticut. And I joined the Army when I was 17 years old and I went to West Point in 2016 and I just graduated. I am going to the Catholic University of Lille and their political science school, ESPOL. And I chose this school specifically because when I was at West Point um, and I studied at the Catholic University of Lille, I've made a lot of friends in the community there and I really enjoyed. Um, I taught English at one of their Franco American Club and, they, and that kind of really sparked my interest in coming back and seeing those folks again and re engaging with the communities. And I chose ESPOL because I had a friend, Aaron, who was taking like political science classes there. Uh, and he kind of told me about some of his classes he was taking and I was, they seemed very interesting um, and definitely more in line with uh, my degree. I'm um, a defense and strategic studies uh, major from West Point. I'm very interested in inclusion and diversity in the armed forces. So being in France, I actually hope to do some training with the French army a little bit, maybe go to NATO and do some um, extracurricular type of um, analysis. I didn't have any money to go to college or get an education. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't necessarily value a good education when I was in high school. Um, I was really just trying to survive and I ended up, you know, knowing I wanted to be in the military because I wanted to get out of the situation. I just wanted to leave my home and my teachers uh, in high school was like, we do a trip to France like every year. She was a French teacher and I was in the French class and we ended up raising all the money and she and another teacher helped pay for the remaining um, balance of my, my cost. And um, that was a really that was like a life-changing moment for me, just taking off and seeing France. And, um, you know, because that is kind of what opened me up to international travel, just knowing that there was something else out there and people just live and grow up in totally different backgrounds. Um, and not just the language. I mean, the language itself is amazing. Um, and, and when I went to college, I was like, I have to go back. Like, I have to study there. I have to find a way. Fulbright was just so open. Like, it was anything that your little heart desired, basically. It was like, if you have a good enough reason and you, you know, can, like, I don't know. It was just so freeing to kind of choose wherever you wanted. It could be anywhere in the world, basically. You could study any degree you want. It just has to fit you, which I, I thought that was pretty awesome. My biggest uh, advice for anybody who's maybe not, um, like, feeling like they're good enough, um, you are and having a scholarship doesn't define you. It doesn't define your, you know, abilities. It doesn't define you as a person. My biggest recommendation is write thank you letters. Anybody who comes up in your head when you're like, you know, oh, this person had an influence in my life in this way, which kind of draws me to this place or write that person a thank you letter and just tell them how much their relationship with you or their, even if it was just planting a seed, how much that did for you. Um, to me, that was the most gratifying part of the whole scholarship process. I, I would say continue on with the process, you know, don't let, you know, a small hiccup in the world, <laughs> that's what it is, a hiccup, um, you know, change your, your path. Um, you know, you are the ultimate person who's in charge of what you do.